Wall Street Memes Casino. I'm fine. And Sportsbook. This is Oscar Bevis for IFL TV. Liam Davis joins me. My friend, it's a pleasure to see you as always. Um, yeah, magnificent seven, rise again, seven brilliant fights. Um, and I think people can argue that yours is probably the best of the lot. Yeah. Many people say many different things, so I don't know about that one, but I agree. What do many people say about Liam Davis, you think? Some good, some bad, but I still sleep well at night. <laughs> I feel like the, I don't want to say the tide has turned, but I guess there was a time where people perhaps were saying, um, not doubting, but perhaps weren't fully convinced about Liam Davis yet. And I guess the last 18 months, there's no way that there's a boxing fan in this country that can't be convinced by your work. Do you kind of feel that? Do things feel different to you? No, it feels the same. Still rolling with it. Still probably got doubters, but it doesn't matter. I'm here doing what I enjoy to do. And um, yeah, Saturday night is just another fight. Looking forward to it and the dream carries on. You just said to me off camera that everyone's walking around looking skinny. I spoke to a few boys, I know they're hungry and thirsty. Um, and I saw you say in an interview to Dev that you're to be avoided on fight week. Um, have we got quite a moody built up Liam Davis at the moment? No, nah, no, nah, I'm good. You see, I'm smiling. I'm happy. Smiling through the pain or? No, nah, no, nah, not too bad. It's always um, just waiting around, man. It's like, I always say, it's like a kid at Christmas. Them days seem to go slow just before, but we're nearly there now. I'm excited. Glad Rob Les is here. The fight's on. And uh, ready to do the business Saturday and take the title back to Telford. Do you always have them little doubts at times, or maybe with Rob Les as well, that you kind of just want him to get over to be here, to see him in person, just to make sure that everything's 100%. Because we've seen it before, fighters fight week, someone's stranded, something's not gone right. Um, did you kind of just want to know that he's here just to make sure everything's kind of perfect? Yeah, of course. I want the fight. I'm here to fight. I've trained hard, really hard for this camp, and um, I put a lot into it. So, yeah, I just wanted everything to go right, and it has. And we're here Saturday night. It's going to go even better. It's a bit of a cliche, but when people say all the hard work's been done, um, do you believe that? Because I guess there's still points in the fight on Saturday where you're going to have to work hard. Oh, yeah, of course. The the funda the base is set there and uh, I'm here now. Saturday night, I'm ready to walk through fire. Trust me. I'm here to win and whatever I have to do to do so, I'm happy to do. So, yeah, the, art, the fight can be tough at times hopefully it is I'm willing to show how much I want it you want a difficult fight bring his best don't want no excuses and um, I want to beat the best Eric Robles there is do you thrive off or do you want an entertaining fight as well like are you one who wants to come out the ring and have people go through what a fight that was or is it just about kind of making sure that you end the night clutching that belt nah it's just about winning can't be a crowd pleaser all the You've time. You've been a crowd pleaser though. You have. The last few fights have been ones that have been extremely entertaining. Yeah, some fights are some ways to go about it. And I ain't daft, do you know what I mean? So this one's just about winning. No matter how, just winning. And uh, when I smell blood, I can't help myself, do you know what I mean? I will go for it, but we're going to find out Saturday how it goes I'm looking forward to it and I'm ready for whatever way he wants to take it can you knock him out? 100% 100% I can knock any of them out smell blood and you'll take it the Telford Shark that's what I'm going to call you um, from beyond this I know obviously it's tunnel vision for Saturday but beyond this I know nui has been thrown about a couple of times um, but beyond this it genuinely is only like the huge names in the divisions your Fultons um, your Casemiro's your Inoue's um, is this kind of the key to unlock the elite level fights for you? Yeah, of course it is. And it's not even just that. I said I can go up to featherweight and they're doing the 5v5. I can do super bantam, Warrington at featherweight. I'm open to any of them. And uh, Warrington's a massive name. not calling him out, do you know what I mean? I'm just saying that that's a fight I would love to take and... Uh, this conversation's for after Saturday, but there's some ma massive fights out there. I feel like I deserve the massive fights. I'm ready for them. And Saturday night's the first of many, I hope. 
from watching on in Saudi and even seeing the Joshua and Garnu show the other day, um, so you see Nick fight for a featherweight world title. Is it just kind of every fight and I'm watching on from Saudi and going, this is kind of where I need to be or where I want to be? Because they're paying well, there's big fights, there's world titles. Like, are you looking and going, Saudi looks good right now? I look at Saudi and think, bloody hell, that'd be great memories, you know what I mean? That going out there and um, when you look back at your boxing career, I think Saudi, Vegas, they're the ones that you want to tick off. I put the hard work in, I dedicate my life to the sport and um, them rewards would be nice and well earned, I believe. So Saturday, first off, of course, we're going to hear and the new. 100% and the new. Yes. Wall Street memes casino. I'm fine. And sportsbook.